Hi, my name is Willie Burton. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. My number was 34. I played for the Gophers from 1987 until 1990. I found out I was getting my jersey retired. I got a call out of nowhere. This is Mark Coyle. She just want to congratulate you on getting your jersey retired. Wow. Because when I first walked in Williams Arena as an 18 year old kid, I thought it would be great to have my jersey up there. To have that banner raised, it signifies that hard work pays off. The many gophers that I've talked to in the past and some of the gophers that I'll deal with in the future, I'll have the opportunity to tell them a story about a dream coming true. I think January 26th is gonna be an amazing day, not just for me, but also my former teammates, some of the staff that was there at the time, the fans, and my family. Going into our Sweet 16 tournament, uh, it was a really crucial year. Uh, we needed the last game against Ohio State. And um, I looked up at the wrong time and I got my nose broke. I think my teammates stepped up in a manner that would set the tone for us finishing in the Sweet 16 as well as next year. I get a lot of accolades, but these guys also had capes on their back. You know, when you take a look at it, Sweet 16 team and that Final Eight team, I had six teammates to play in the NBA. I don't know how many teams throughout go for histories has, has had that many players play in the NBA. Let's go on a journey of how Willie Burton came to Minnesota. And back then, coaches could talk to you in a kind of way, you know, you can't do this, you need to do that. He was constantly on me. He said Gene Keedy had never put one in the NBA. Cancel my visit to Purdue, schedule it to University of Minnesota. I go up to Minnesota, I fall in love with the campus and the place, and Minnesota was it. When it came there to sign, I put two letters of intent on the table. My mom was talking about Michigan State, Michigan State. Yeah, let's go to Michigan State, go to Michigan State. So I put the pen over the Michigan State letter of intent, and as she smiled, and I looked at her, I slipped my hand over and signed the University of Minnesota. Boy, did she flip out. Oh, hold on. Uh, are you sure you want to? Why would you do that? This is, you're playing a game. This is a joke, isn't it? No. I'm going to Minnesota. She took the newspaper that says, Mother doesn't always know best, and framed it and put it here in my office. Go Gophers.